we have a massive flood threat coming to California on Sunday and into Monday. This storm is going to be sitting in the same areas for a prolonged period of time, upping those rain totals, especially along the coastline. So let's go through your timing and impacts of this rain and upper elevation snow event. Starting off with the Weather Prediction Center, we have a lot of color on this excessive rainfall outlook showing that elevated flood risk. Starting in these greens, that is your 5% chance of flash flooding, that marginal risk. So don't count out some localized flash flooding in these areas, but we do have more significant areas in that risk. Uh, we have 15% chance of flash flooding in these yellow areas. That's that slight risk. And that includes much of the Central Valley of California, especially in the northern end. That includes Sacramento, uh, portions of the Bay Area just to the east of Oakland. Uh, then you have that 40% chance, that moderate risk along the coastline here. That is going to include San Francisco, Monterey, all the way down towards Los Angeles, the northern end of the city in that risk. And last but not least, we have this area right along the coastline, 70% chance of flash flooding. So this is the area where those bands of rain are going to be pushing onto the coast pretty much all day tomorrow. So let's go through and time this storm out uh, with the NAM 3-kilometer model. You can see that Saturday, this is right around 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. We're already seeing this storm. So if we go out to right around now, uh, that would be right around here. We already see some of that rainfall moving on to the coast, but this is just the beginning. As this low pressure system moves in throughout the early morning hours of tomorrow, uh, you can see that rain and snow inundating much of the central portions of California as well as the coastline around the Bay Area. Uh, this is right around midnight Sunday Pacific time. But as this storm continues to push through, let's go to 4 a.m. here. You can see those heavier rain bands moving in off the coastline. Starting in the north, these will eventually be shifting to the south and east as the day moves on on Sunday. But you can see uh, from uh, up near Oregon all the way down towards the central coastline, we're seeing very heavy rain at this time. So let's move on to 8 a.m. You can see those bands starting to form, and those are the areas we're going to be seeing, you know, maybe, you know, quarter to a half an inch of rain in an hour, and this is the areas where we could see that higher elevated flash flooding risk. Heavy snow in Northern California and the Sierra Nevadas, but we're going to be seeing even more as we get throughout the day. This is right around noontime on Sunday. You can see that rain extending from all the way up to the Oregon border, all the way down into Los Angeles. And this is going to continue. This low pressure is going to stall out, continue to pump in that Pacific moisture. So by 4 p.m. on Sunday, we're going to be seeing a just inundation of rainfall in the Los Angeles area. That rain still pushing into uh, portions of the Bay Area as well. Heavy snow in the Sierra Nevadas as well as into Nevada. And as we move into the later hours, 8 p.m., still just that one band here, this one band just hanging around portions of Southern California. And we're just going to see that continue throughout Monday as well. Look at this band of rain that extends from Los Angeles all the way into Nevada. And that is not going to be moving anywhere until this low pressure eventually kind of moves its way out. And that might take a couple of days to do so. We have kind of a roadblock in motion right now with our current storm system that is going to be moving into the southeast during this week. This storm system has nowhere to go other than the southwest. So this thing is going to be spinning up more Pacific moisture in the area for days on days until finally it moves out, probably towards the end of the week. So going to be a pretty treacherous time in California, especially when it comes to rain. So how much rain are we expecting? The entire coastline is expecting to see at least an inch of rain. Some spots seeing that two to four inch area but that area in that high risk of that flash flooding could be seeing upwards of five to six inches of rainfall with this storm system. 
Now, also in the Sierra Nevadas, we're going to be seeing a lot of moisture, and that correlates to our snowpack. And here it is, uh, just in the next 60 hours. So by Tuesday, let's call that actually Monday night at 10 p.m. Pacific time, we could be seeing areas of the central and southern Sierra Nevadas getting close to 100 inches of snowfall with this storm system. And California just saw a storm system move through. Now we're getting another one. We have this atmospheric river barrage moving into the southwest, continuing to up that snowpack, but also poses that risk of flash flooding, landslides, just not a pretty look for an area that has seen a lot of rainfall as of late, as well as throughout all of last year, in fact. So California, just a few years ago, we were talking about a major flood, uh, major drought, and now we're talking about major floods. Very big switch. But that is all I have for today. If you found this video informative, consider subscribing for more weather updates in the future. But I'll see you all again soon.